and McFadden started things up. Phillips down the right hand side, dumps it in behind the cage and Eberle stepping on it. Some space in the corner. Phillips gets it to Tanner Eberle, shot Paddy out right down into the slot and Cobra was beaten on the glove. And the Steelers get a big juicy rebound. They get an early lead here at the Skydome Arena. Didn't take them long at all, Stu. Nice bit of cycling around on the left wing here. We see that puck come out. And then it's just a nice shot, a little bit of unsightedness. Kind of gets the glove and the shoulder up a little bit late. Goes top side, and it's a goal for the Sheffield Steelers. Here's Pitt. Nicky Fork pinched up at him. Very aggressive play from the former Panther. They have the zone. Check comes in on Pitt from Brinnesven. Buzio in there, puck comes to the point as the Blazer back to full strength and Hashi with a big stick lift, couldn't take that puck off the Steelers, they have a chance on the back door and it's padded away by Koprova who also pushed the net off but this was a big strong pad save from the big man between the pipes. An important one Stu is the Steelers had a great A scoring chance here. Really good opportunity for the Steelers, again move the puck well and then weak side again, nobody on him and then Koprova's down low pretty quickly. If the, the Steelers had managed to get the puck lofted up there, the, mm. the net was gaping. Even if it had been dislodged, it probably still would have counted. Yeah. Paulie goes down. Looked to me like he got hooked, but play will continue. As the Steelers come down the right. Drop pass. They have Pitt entering the zone as well. He'll get this loose puck in his feet. Sends it across. Johnson with a big look. Johnson off the pipe. They don't come from more in the middle of the iron than that, Stu. Wonderful chance for Sheffield. Lake's going to have a chance of his own at the other end. Tries to toe drag around Davy Phillips, who used his size well. Joyo in. Ainsworth spins. Goes down. Play will continue. Joyo on the forehand. Winds up. Drives. He scores! Joyo sent one to the net front and the Blaze tie it up. There may have been a tip in front. Let's have a look again. Hansen was in the vicinity, Stu, and what did you make of it? Joyo moves in. There's a lot of bodies in there. That's tough to see whether there's a tip on that at all. But it's a great blast from Chris Joyo. What you can say is that the Blaze got traffic in front of, of Jackson Whistle there really effectively. Look at the number of bodies that he's got to try and see that puck through. Yeah. He's got no chance of that coming through at that speed. If it's on target, it's in. We enter the last minute, the Blazers have got a two-on-one. Comes across to Hansen, he shoots, big save by Whistle. Wonderful stuff from Whistle in between the pipes. Big teddy bear roll. And the Blaze had a huge opportunity to take a lead into the intermission. What a save. Gets dumped in. Brinnisven hacks that free and Hashi starts things up. Dumped in by Nikiforuk. But gets played away to the back door and they score! Nikiforuk! A broken play and the Blaze score after 16 seconds. Flying out the trap, Stu. Let's have a look again. They get the puck, move straight into transition. Kevin Morris chases it down and manages to put a little bit of pressure, forcing the Steelers into making that mistake. Instead of going up the boards, Crowder makes the pass, and Nikifor is there, unmarked, to dish it into the back of the net to make it 2-1 to the Coventry Blaze. Hashi across, Ferrara comes to the hash marks. Still going, behind the net. Nikifor, 20 seconds after power play, Blaze shoot! Oh, it... Looked a little awkward coming off the stick of Hashi. Oh, he gets beaten to it, and Eberle is going to come shorthanded with Ferrara in tow. Nice play. Oh, and it's shot up over the top. A two on one shorthanded, and the Steelers lose a great opportunity. The Blaze have come the other way, and Ferrara shoots saved by Whistle. The rebound is right in front of him, and he grabs it. Two opportunities go begging. What did either end do? Tanner Eberle with a great move to try and get some space. Couldn't quite get the, the final product for the Steelers and the Blaze come streaking down the other side. It, some kind of touch passing there from Crowder. Ferrara gets the shot. Whistle can't trap it, so there's a bit of a scramble, but then he gets a bit good sight of it. 
and puts the glove down on it to, to freeze it for a face-off. Crowder in there. Check comes in from Martinelli. That puck won't clear the zone. Brinisven. Great hand-eye coordination from him. Nikiforuk in there too. Great play from Coventry. Nikiforuk. Can they follow this up, Stu? Let's see. Big shot comes high. It looked like it hit Martinelli up high. He's wincing, but he's carrying on. Lake. Quick pass across. Big chance. Brinisven. Over to Ben Lake. It wasn't in his wheelhouse. There's a... Battle in front, shot comes in up high from Crowder, the net comes off. Morris in a war in front with the defence. And that was some good offensive zone pressure from Coventry, Stu. Really worked very well, but Brinisven and Nikiforic managing to keep the puck in well on the blue line. That just increases the pressure. Puck moves around well, Crowder there with that shot. Fantastic battling there between Martinelli and Morris. Really nice play from both players. goes in behind the net again Noble there scoops it away Crowder to the neutral zone oh nice feed from Nikiforuk Blaze have a chance here it comes for Clements oh it's redirected into the netting as it looked a sure thing for David Clements and a lovely bit of stick work from the Steelers D-man I didn't see who it was but he saw where that puck was and made a vital play here, Stu. Great pinch from Clements. He's right there. It looks as if he's going to be all there. And then a really great reach. Again, I can't... Great quite stick. Make, can't make out of the number of that player is, but it's a really good piece of work there. Face off to the right of Whistle. Four on four, then. Face off cleanly won by the Blaze. Brinisven shoots through traffic. Oh, big redirection from Lake, but just wide. Lovely idea is... Brunisven sent a soft one in the vicinity of Lake Stick as he was sandwiched into the boards by Martinelli. And here comes Pitt, pulls up, shoots, pad save, Coprova, rebound, and they've scored! Is that McGrath with the final touch? I think it is! And there goes the lead for the Blaze. Big rebound, dispatched over the big man. So we look one more time, Stu. Yeah. Josh Pitt there gets the first shot in, rebound comes out. And then McGraw. That's Ebele. It's Ebele, sorry. He's very quick there. Very quick again in there. Backhand lifted up over Koprova's shoulder. Great work there. Equalising goal. Morris enters the zone. Crowder. Ainsworth. Tension mounting. Hashi. Blaze will just bide their time here, you feel. Hashi and Crowder exchanging passes. Comes across. Hashi, big drive! Wide of the net. Crowder keeps it in. 30 seconds of five on three. But the Skydome urges the blaze on. Hashi shoots! He scores! All it took was a little gentle encouragement from the Skydome. And Justin Hashi does just the ticket. Buries one in the back of the net. And the Blaze get that lead back, Stu. Patient power play, moving the puck around well. Find Justin Hash at the top, who just very gently sends it to the back of the net. Really placed it, but managed to get a bit of speed on there as well. Hansen did well to get it in deep. Some space for Ainsworth. Oh, but he lost it. And there's going to be a breakaway here for Ebele. Ebele with the big chance. Koprova came out. He wiped out Ebele. And I think this will be a penalty shot. Aggressive from the netminder. And I've noticed this in some of the rare footage we got to see of Miroslav Koprova. As soon as Ebele's head goes down here, he comes right out at him. Uh, the, the, Blazer, the Blazer arguing that it, it shouldn't be a penalty shot. Um, I think that's um, uh, fair. Well, I don't think that, I think it should be a penalty shot. I think their, uh, their arguing is going to be fairly uh, forlorn. Here we go. The left shooter, Koprova, very aggressively out. Ebele shoots over the top. Got to make the net minor make a save, folks, and he didn't there. And the Blaze still have that one goal lead, and they have 20 seconds of power play left as we look at the replay again, Stu. Yeah, comes up fairly centrally, it takes the line. Really just trying to go for speed with the shot there. Gets it on his forehand, but goes up high and wide. 
But here comes Sheffield. Buzio gives a little pop on the stick of David Clements. Steelers get the puck back. Clements and Justin Buzio against the boards. Clements has got puck side. But he can't get that puck out of danger. Ainsworth always poked into the back door inadvertently. And Koprova has to make a huge save with the pad. Big chance for Sheffield. They still have the zone. Brooks to the back door. What a save by the netminder. Koprova moving laterally down low. There's another chance here. Coventry needs to clean house. They get it out the zone and there might be a breakaway. It's Ben Lake. End-to-end -end stuff. Lake. Deeks. Big save from Whistle. Well, it's a netminding showcase in the first two minutes of this period, Stu. Netminders earning their wages at both ends of the ice. Koprova sh shutting the door down on his left-hand pad side. And then Whistle on the other way, defeating Ben Lake on the breakaway. I love hockey. Nikiforuk, who scant of options initially. The Blaze have it behind the net. They send it in. Oh, Morris wanted it. Nearly got it. They were playing there, trying to trick the Steelers almost into put thinking they were going for Hashi, and they went short for Morris. Mm, here is the aforementioned Justin Hashi. Good stick from Martinelli. Comes off a body on the clearance attempt, and the puck's still in the zone. Off Crowder. Oh, but he's pinched up a breakaway for Pitt. In, shoots, all oh, wide of the goal from Pitt. Well, that's two breakaways, including the penalty shot where they've failed to make Koprova make a save. A bit of pushing and shoving. The Blaze have sent it to the point. Chance here. Ainsworth to the back door. Oh, it's still in the Blaze hands, though. Brynisven, another pass. A shot from Lake. Oh, the rebound was right there. The net came off. Hansen is livid. And the Blaze nearly had a huge scoring chance. Look at this again, Stu. Just watch where this rebound falls in a second. And again, Blaze moving the puck around well on the power play. British Vane finds the puck outside, and then Hansen's almost there. Up oh, there it is. And two pounds. The winning's going to A. Hansen tries to get the moves going. Puck behind the goal line. Ainsworth in there too. As is Ben Lake. Twisting and turning, Ben Lake, wrap around chance, a big goal from Hansen! On the back door, it just came through to him! Time and space for Jake Hansen, his second goal of the year, and the Blaze have got a two goal lead, Stu! And what will the Sheffield Steelers do in response? Look at this! They've just completely lost Jake Hansen on the back door. We said, watch the weak side at the top of the broadcast, and we see here, watch Jake Hansen as he's got, he's standing in the slot area, and he just, just drifts past Davy Phillips there. No one on him, and that's an easy shot to put him past Jackson Whistle. Blaze get it out of the zone. A little bit scrappy here, but they're okay. Oh, as Pauly got clattered from behind. And I think there should be a penalty on that play, Stu, and I'll be very surprised if there isn't. Yeah, that was dangerous into the side of the boards there. Didn't see the referee's arms up, but they're having a conversation. We get another look here. Pauly's go in. He's got no idea. And yeah, that's, that's cross-checking there. Yeah, you don't up. do that. Pauly gets that puck out. Martinelli there. Sends it back from where it came, but only into the hands of the Coventry Blaze. Pauly. Oh, he gets upended by Martinelli. Play will continue with no call, although, again, I think that might be one that's gone astray. Here's Phillips. He shoots, saved, and there's going to be a melee in front of the netminder. Copriva. A lot of pushing and shoving. Brynisven's furious. Well, I think the referees have to accept if they're going to let the play go. And, they, you know, they have been letting the play go, but there's a couple of calls that perhaps have been missed there. Mm. They are going to start to see a little bit more of the rough stuff towards the end of the game. Certainly as tensions get amped up, Sheffield having pulled the netminder now, looking for their the, go for the extra skater to see if they can pull those two goals back. We're into the last minute. Joyo can't quite clear the zone. The Steelers are three on two. Shot blocked. Loose puck's there for Johnson. He goes around the net. Shoots through the crease. Blocked away. Joyo gets it out of the zone. And Hansen has the net gaping. He's tripped, but he scores. 
Two goals on the night for Hansen. A three goal difference between these two teams. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Good night. Jake Hansen will come around. Aaron Johnson does absolutely everything to try, takes the man down. But there, Jake Hansen just puts it in. I do though. If that had, been, if he had uh, not put it in, it would have been a penalty goal. Yeah, 100%. The, the goal, the goal would have been awarded regardless. But well done for Jake Hansen for following the play through and seeing the uh, puck into the back of the net.